It's time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is Diane Ng, the executive pastry chef from the Four Seasons Hotel in Baltimore. Good morning. Good morning. So you went savory before with your yes. crepe and now we're going to go sweet with bread pudding. We're going to do something, uh, yeah, something sweet. Again, this is something we offer at the Wit and Wisdom restaurant at the Four Seasons. Um, but it's also something that we're going to offer at the at the festival, the feastival. Yes, you're going to do a so, flip flop festivus, and we'll talk about details about that yes. in just a moment. But first, you're starting with a custard. So this is a, a basic custard mm -hmm. made with eggs, a uh, little milk, a little cream, obviously a little sugar, a mm -hmm. pinch of salt. And uh, for my bread today, I'm going to use uh, some day old croissants, danishes, whatever you have lying around. Is that around. a chocolate chip croissant? Yeah, it's a chocolate wow. croissant. <laughs> But you can also use uh, white bread. It mm -hmm. actually works out really well. Um, so I'm just going to pour this custard over uh, the danishes. Yeah, anything with uh, chocolate in it's going to be a good thing. So you want to sort of drench it? You do. You want to soak it really well. Mm -hmm. And you want to let this sit um, just so it can absorb all of that liquid. How long would you let it sit for? Just until it Ideally absorbs it? Ideally for me, I mean, I would do it 24 hours. Okay. But if you don't have time, you can do it for an hour. Yeah, you're the expert, um, so <laughs> got to go with you. So we'll let that soak. And mm -hmm. once it's all soaked up, we can put it in whatever dish that you want to bake it in. Yeah, these so are adorable. So I have like little cute cast iron dishes here. These are so cute. You can fill it all the way and pack it. And how long does it take to cook? So it's uh, it bakes at 350. Mm -hmm. and Let's then, say we um, didn't do it individual like this and we did it just in a, like a mainstream casserole dish. Yeah, it could be 40, 45 minutes. Okay. So you just have to take a knife and test the mm -hmm. middle to see if it comes out clean. Um, and there you go. There you have it. It's that looks pretty great. easy. And then your finished product over here is drenched in golden goodness. Yeah, what so is we that? We have some caramel sauce here. Uh, made oh, of yeah, sugar, the butter, cream, all the good stuff. Now, is this something that you're serving at the Flip Flop Festivus? I am, yes. We are. We are serving this. All right. Let's talk about that fundraiser and tell us who it's for. Yeah. So it's for, it's organized by Life and Breath um, and it's going to be held at the Four Seasons Hotel um, on the 23rd. Uh, at 7, 7 p.m. And you can purchase um, tickets at the Life and breath.org. All for a really good cause. Yep. You're going to be serving some of these appetizers over here, yeah, lamb sliders. Some savory snacks, some yes. uh, walnut crusted goat cheese and some octopus with tomatoes. Oh my gosh, and that's all over here. This is amazing. Yeah. It's seared octopus with tomatoes and your walnut encrusted goat cheese. Yes. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Diane, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you so much. Thanks for having really me. Really appreciate it. And if you would like